Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Back to Glory. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're well and buckle up because the grind starts now. There's so much that I want to get accomplished in today's video. Obviously, we want to start to get some SBCs going and right now I'm working through doing all those real basic intro tutorial SBCs. Just chucking out a few bronze players from the club that are never going to see the light of day when it comes to playing for this side. So we're going to go through, we're just zooming here, um, skipping the packs because we're not going to be getting anything of um, note within these bronze packs here. But nonetheless, uh, once they're done, we can then start to go and do the harder SBC. So we've got to do these three first and then we'll be able to look at doing Vardy um, or any other player that kind of drops that, that could help us out along this journey. With that being said, I still am yet to buy a player off the transfer market and... I don't know whether we're going to set up a rule that I can't buy players off the transfer market at all at any stage because then they wouldn't be first owner or I can buy players but then I'm, I could put them immediately into SBCs and I just can't start games using players um, that aren't first owner. So yeah, there's a little bit of a discrepancy in the rules there um, and I would love a comment below so, to tell me what you would like to see. We've gone ahead and put um, the minimum of seven La Liga players in our side so that we can start doing that first icon swap. Um, so we have to win four games uh, altogether, and at the same time, I'm going to try and get some of this Mbabu road to the final done as well by uh, assisting with defenders and I think assisting with a Swiss player as well as the other one. So uh, we're going to focus on getting them done. From those basic SBCs, we actually did pick up a couple of packs. Um, so we've got a bronze pack here, play pack, and a few MLS players. So um, that'll link up quite nicely with um, the MLS players that we already have inside the club uh, from the early episodes. And now we also have a two-player pack. And unfortunately, um, there's no board or walk out there, just Radu, who will come in handy for uh, our um, Calcio A side when we do that icon swap. But... Um, He's not really too much to write home about. So it's time to get into Rivals games. We're going to get straight into our first game of the day today and um, a slow, another slow start for us to start off down at 1-0. This guy was very aggressive, um, jumping into challenges uh, often. And uh, in fact, he picks up a, um, a red card really early in this game and then another yellow there. So I have the opportunity to score with a penalty early on. Now, I didn't realize until recently that you don't have to time finish your penalties so um, I was kind of time finishing them all and yeah it's it's suggested that you don't buy the pro players so if that's something that you're doing um, maybe it's time to start looking at not time finishing your shots here a nice little roulette to find the space and Mariano you're gonna see Mariano pick up a lot of goals today in this episode he's a bit of a hidden gem uh, when I first saw him come into the club with his low passing and low composure I thought I oh, will give him a whirl but He's banging in the goals for us. Um, in fact, at the end of this, I looked at his stats. Well, after three games, I looked at his stats, and he was nine goals from three games. Uh, so uh, pretty crazy numbers that he's putting up so far. And um, I'm, I, yeah, I'm a bit surprised at, at that and, and stoked at the same time, that's for sure. So we'll continue to um, unlock all of these like milestone or season progress achievements uh, as we play more and more games. And um, soon we have Bale, which is which is pretty cool that we can start to bring him into the side. But I'd say by the time we have Bale, we'll have done all of our games needed for La Liga. So that's a bit of a shame that he won't be able to help us um, get there. Uh, but I, I'd say that um, we're not going to have too much trouble down in Div 7. And I tell you what, if you want to get yourself something for Christmas, I would recommend playing games in Division 7 because, uh, it, yeah, it's really fun. People play super aggressive when it comes to defending. You don't have to deal as much with that drop back mentality. And there's plenty of goals on offer down here in the lower division. So I'm soaking it up and enjoying it while I can. And Mariano is too because he is um, he's enjoying putting the ball in the back of the net. This goal here, you can see, I've just got a lot of quick thinking and one twos in and around the area. Um, when you're playing against people that kind of don't really know that well to defend, like the left trigger, right trigger, jockeying, that sort of stuff, then um, you've just got to move the ball quickly around the box and, and use that left bumper or L1 if you're on PlayStation to make those forward runs. And then, of course, just always a little bit of composure helps You know, in that, that final third. If you're struggling to score goals, just relax in that area. Um, is the biggest tip that I can give you. The goals will come, make the player commit, make the defender um, want to make the challenge. And 
I, I left in a little bit of an extra clip on this goal here at the start where I won the ball back just because of how appreciative I am that I now have gold players in my defense and in, in the defensive areas and also that 4-2-3-1 formation having those holding players and you see Zlatan is now in the side and starting to make a difference and I was trying to feed Zlatan there again with a cross um, but it seemed to go to back, the back post and we get another one to make it 5-2 so we are feeling very comfortable at this stage uh, in today's episode against these sorts of opponents even now with the high rated sides and high chemistry um, yeah life in division seven is is a great place to be finishing it off here with another tap in and i believe that makes the hat trick for mariano as well so he'll be taking home the game ball today um he can put that one up in the lounge room or wherever he wants to put it in the pool room and um yeah very happy for him and very happy to be banging in the goals as well as we are a, a 10 a perfect 10 for for mariano there I was playing him at striker and Zlatan in at cam in that game, which I didn't love because of Zlatan's uh, work rates with his medium attacking work rate and low defensive work rate. He wasn't really getting beyond the striker, so in future I'm definitely going to look to have Zlatan at striker and Mariano in behind um, so that Mariano can push on beyond him. Uh, we were also trying really hard in that game to feed um, a goal for the defender um, to do that challenge for for. Mbabu and we did actually end up getting um, one assist there as well so that's another um, one ticked off in typical fashion of the club we start off slow again they concede early I've been conceding early in oh, nearly every game um, so far that we've played and we seem to then find our feet and bring games back and clutch up when we need to little chip over the top here I apologize this is probably the first sweaty goal that I've scored so far so I put my hand up to that um, I was, yeah, we had the slow pace players up there and I was just kind of trying to bring the score back to 1-1 and then we can start to score some, some nicer goals. Again, um, I say that and then we sweat across the goal again. But hey, the space was there, the player was attacking the back post and if this person decided that they actually wanted to come and, and make the tackle then I wouldn't have to play it across there because um, there wasn't really an angle for me and I'm not just going to give up a free goal. That one was a really nice finish from Mariano um, onto that near post. They're definitely, I'm high on my agenda to, to shoot near post um, nine times out of ten because I find that it is the place to go. And a lot of people seem to be moving their keeper these days as well. I didn't actually realize how much people were doing that until I started to film games and, and commentate over them. And um, yeah, something that maybe I should look at doing, at moving my keeper as well because it looks like a lot of people do tend to just shoot across the goal. So we pick up Bale, and we have Bale with one game to spare. I'm not actually going to waste Bale here down in Div 7. I feel like he will be an important player for us coming off the bench uh, when we need him. And we pack Joe Gomez there. And for me, Brozovic and Gomez, those two um, players, will probably they're probably the best players that we've pulled so far, even though we have had Zlatan and um, some other cards that are higher rated than them. Gomez is real meta player he like he would fit into my cheapest 150k like a, a cheap beast 150k side in fact i am looking at building a, um, a 150k side and that'll be up on the channel in the coming week so to start off the game here as promised zlatan up top mariana in behind and um, we're going to bring in gomez straight away too to our back line he'll really shore up the back line there he's a fantastic player if you haven't used him yet he goes for like a thousand coins and he's He's um, better than many players that are far more expensive. And with his first touch of the game, one second later, I thought he was going to be going into the history books for the club, but he actually just goes wide there. But nonetheless, it didn't take us long to break this guy down. Um, nice little shimmy there, quick, quick ball into Zlatan, and then um, you need to find the back of the net really quick. Don't mess around there. I do say be composed in the box, but if the opportunity presents itself to shoot, shoot early. Um, that extra touch where the defender can close down the gap um, can... Be, uh, make all the difference so yeah if the opportunity is there hit hit it while you can again look at that guy move his keeper um, you may not have noticed that but this guy was a weekend league player he did have um, a red card in his starting 11 and um, yeah he just moves the keeper just slightly over to um, that left hand side of the goal and I, I look to finish near post so if I wasn't shooting near post then he saves that and it's still um, still on here at 1-0 but now we're feeling a bit more comfortable at 2-0 um, nice composure from Zlatan, and again, moves his keeper, and I go near post, so, um, yeah, hit the like button if you like to move your keeper, because, um, 
it's it's something that I, it's really just come to my attention today and it's kind of blown my mind. Um, another thing that blew my mind today was that, and this is completely off topic, if you make toast in the toaster, right? You put bread in the toaster to make toast and then you like don't get to it in time and it goes kind of like sketchy and it's not as nice to eat. If you put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds, it goes all soft again and then like the butter will melt on it and it's not all like crusty and horrible. So, hey, a tip for you if you're making toast for brekkie today. So, that's um, that's the end of the four games. We did that pretty comfortably. We now have one more Icon Swaps player done. Next time we'll look to, um, to get into the Calcio A and get those one another one done as well. But that's all for me today. Thank you for joining us. Good luck with eating your toast for breakfast tomorrow. And um, until next time, take care. We'll see you soon.